A Bradenton mother wants retribution for her son. The boy with special needs was tied to a chair earlier this month on the playground of G.D. Rogers Garden Bullock Elementary School. A teacher and two teacher's aides are now facing charges and the boy's mom is taking legal action. News Channel 8's Alessandra Young spoke to the family's attorney and has the story. Tequila Jones's seven-year-old son is nonverbal and on the autism spectrum. Her attorney tells me that they filed a potential claim against the Manatee County School Board after video evidence showed her son being tied up to a chair on the playground here. The full extent of, of the damages are not known because the child is still suffering from nightmares. Uh, he's still getting some basic treatment. Melton Little is representing the family of the seven-year-old boy who Bradenton police say was tied to a chair for over an hour. He says they have started the process of potentially filing a lawsuit against the Manatee County School Board by filing a potential claim. Apparently there are now some claims that it's happened to other children besides uh, just Mr. Richardson. The police department has charged three women with false imprisonment. Karina Chendamo, an exceptional student education teacher, and teachers aides Taylor Internicola and Haidalmi Ortiz. The investigation began in early February after the PD says this all came to light. Y'all are supposed to protect him, y'all are supposed to watch out for him and teach him, not put him in harm's way with these people that hurt him. I spoke with Joan shortly after she found out what happened. It's just really upsetting me because my child, like I said, he's autistic, he's nonverbal. He can't tell mommy what's happening, what's not happening. I reached out to the school board for comment about the claim, and they said they do not typically comment on matters currently being investigated. But in a statement, they said the arrests and allegations against the three employees are disturbing and reprehensible. Once allegations were made, they were immediately removed, and the highest priority is their student safety. Little says they have filed their potential claim, and by Florida law, they have to give the governmental entity 180 days notice of the claim. And that gives that entity time to evaluate the claim, determine what they believe uh, the validity of the claim is, and determine what the value of the claim is. Little says he can't imagine administration didn't know what was going on. I think, you know, as a society, we've evolved past the point of, you know, where we're using uh, paddles and tying children to chairs. Little says if they do not receive a response within the 180 days or agree with what the school board finds, then they are entitled to file a lawsuit. In Manatee County, Alessandra Young, 8 on your side.